but nothing really changed other than a few babies here and there and some other news but this is Iris we'll start here she's due on the 21st looking pretty good she's ready to go her daughter dots right here and dots is due on the 23rd they were both bred to mr. crackle inside so all broken over broken and then over here is Miss K, and she's a broken steel um, out of Iris and my uh, white buck, and uh, she's doing really good. She's going quite along, got really good growth rate. I'm really happy with that. These guys here are the white kits from Milky Way and Zero's litter, my red and white cross. Uh, uh, and there's one buck, one white buck, and three little white does. The agouti one. It already left here as a pet rabbit to a neighbor's right down the road, so it's already long gone. So these guys are going to be here, and sorry about the dogs barking again. These guys are going to grow up, and I'm going to take them to the show, see which one of the does is the best, and then my buck is the only one I got. So and I'll keep that doe and and uh, the buck and breed reds into them, and then the doe will probably breed whites into her, just so I can have a couple whites around here for showing. And here's Twizzler. Twizzler just had her kits uh, last week, I think it was Thursday, and she had two big kits, just like Baby or Milky Way did her very first litter, and she had two big kits that were dead. So she did make a nest and she pulled hair, but just two big, really big kits that were already dead. So she's uh, bred back to Rolo already, and she's going to go to a show this weekend since I get me a doe to go to a show while she's got time. And Baby Ruth, who is due in two days. She's due on the 17th. She's got her box going. I just put it in. She's got some hay going. Or she's uh, just kind of munching on it now, not really getting nesty. Sometimes they get real nesty and start going right away like Starburst did her first time. There's Milky Way. The Milky Way is bred to crackle for some broken, some good broken does. I want to get out of her some higher quality, I'm hoping. So we'll see. And then over here is Starburst. The reason I got the this because I don't have my roof yet. My uh, carport I need to put over this rabbit area. But I put some cardboard up because we had some bad storms the other night and it was blowing pretty good. Now she had four kits. One was dead, pretty good size. And then these other three are still going. I will uh, get the box out here and let you look at them real quick while we're on her. Let me put you down and stop this real quick. I know mama, she's looking for her box. <laughs> Where'd it go? Alright, so she pulled a ton of hair and it was hot those first couple days, but good thing because it got cold on us here. So here we go. There's, there's it's funny, they got three of them. There's like two red, red, red. My first real pedigreed bro or pedigreed reds. Full pedigreed right there. My first ones. Excellent size. See these guys are two days younger and then uh, Artemis, as you'll see, and look how much bigger they are compared to my finger here in this kind of a comparison when we get over there. But the reason for that is Artemis had 10 babies and she only has three to feed. So they ought to be some excellent show babies, I hope, get good and big. But except that little strawberry blonde one, I don't, I don't know what's up with that. So, But just not quite as dark as it needs to be. I'll probably still show it just to see what I can get remarks wise on body type and everything down the road, but we'll see. But these two little reds are just gorgeous and slick. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Lots of hair and pretty warm, aren't you guys? We'll get you back in with Mama. In the future, I'll, I'll get some more video of them. But it's kind of nasty rainy today. It's in between rain, so I'm just kind of kind of hurry along through here. I'll put this back real quick. I just use that glove, new Mama and all, and then going between Mamas, I... You know, having the smell on me or whatnot, but good mamas, it shouldn't matter. But new mama over there, I wanted to make sure. We'll get your ball out of here. And here's Artemis's box. Let's see if I can do this in the cage, huh? But she has ten little babies in here. Let's see if we can get them all to show their heads. Uh -huh. Popcorn. There's ten white babies in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Oh, I'm sorry, it was kind of crappy video, wasn't it? Here we go. Got ten little whites in here. Now they are bred to zero, or they're sired by zero. 
and Miss Artemis here, who's done a wonderful job at Uncle Mama. Yeah. And here is Hestia. Hi, Hestia. Hestia is due... Gosh, it slips me. I have to look. But she's due in a week and a half, I think. And Hera, she just weaned that litter that you all just saw in the last videos. Um, all the does are sold. I got the two little bucks over there, and I'll go show you them real quick. A little video of baby digging in her box. Burrowed in. Alright. And these are those kits. They're, uh, their sisters are all gone. They had a broken sister and two little red sisters. Or, I don't know, fawnish red, I guess. More fawn. But they're still here, the two bucks. Everybody needs does. Nobody really needs any bucks. But they're so cute. Good looking little guys, ain't ya? I'm sure they'll go sometime. If not... They'll go where everybody else gets to go. So I'll take you inside and show you something that. Or maybe the garden real quick. Alright, so over here in the garden we got the onions. They're uh, starting to pop through, as you can see there. That's the little onion patch. Over here with some carrots. They uh, just got planted last week. They're not really going yet. Over there we got lettuce, lettuce, another row of lettuce. And, uh, nope, I'm sorry. Those are turnips. <laughs> this whole box is all turnips here. And then we've got, I know it's early for turnips, but we'll get some early and late. But we got three rows of lettuce over there, three different types. See, they're running down three different types of lettuce. And then two spinaches for spinach. They ain't ready for thinning out yet, but they're po all popping through really good. And nothing in this box yet. That's the zucchini box, the squash box. And down there is going to be the uh, cucumbers. Got some neat ideas. I may have to show that if I get a chance to show you what we're going to do with them. A friend gave me, but we'll see if it works. Um, two more rows of spinach and three more rows of lettuce going all the way down. So everything's coming up really good. The, the early stuff. And, oh, there's some paint when we painted our barn, our old yellow shed there. We repainted it, so now it makes my other my buck barn look dull so it has to get repainted but that's what happens when your your uh, seven-year-old kicks it over kicks a can of paint over in the yard all right and over here we got our sugar snap peas all coming up real nice so a whole bunch of them so that's the garden I'll have to go in here with the boys go say hi to them hey guys all right so here's uh Uncle Si, he down here, you got to come in with all the big boys, now he's a big boy, so we'll just keep him in here for a little while, huh buddy? Yeah. Alright, and there's Rolo, there's Mr. Rolo, come on bud. Oh yeah, what's that? What is that? Come here buddy. And Rolo, he likes his attention, don't you bud? Yeah, oh god, oh, daddy. How do you like giving on kisses on Rolo? This is how you know your your bunny loves you and sticks his head out and you go up and put your head up there and he kisses all over your face. That's Rolo for you. He does it. And even Crackle does it. Whiskers are tickly. Or they tickle pretty good. Tickly. I don't know what I'm saying. Probably running out of time. Oh buddy. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So the news. Before we part is zero. Come, bud. You want to tell them about it? Well, not last weekend. It was the weekend before we went to the show. We didn't have any of this last weekend. And zero acquired his third leg. So he has three legs now. And then he got registered. We registered him. So we got his little. Probably can't see it very well, but he got his R tat. Anyway, he's like, don't watch my ears. He got a little R in his right ear. Oh yeah. So, anyway, he's uh, as soon as his registry uh, application comes back, or as soon as his registry papers come back, then we'll send in his application for his grand champion. So, he's got his three legs and he's registered. So, hopefully, he's as good as done with his grand champion. So, he will become King Zero now. I guess we, since he's a candy bar, we'll go with the King Candy Bar, King Size. So, he's uh, now I can have grand champion. Sorry, baby. So the whites anyway. And that's our good news for Zero. And I don't think there's anything else to talk about. I tried to make it quick. We'll see how that worked out. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for subscribing. And 
And uh, as soon as we get some more of these babies, I got everybody's gonna be having babies here in the next couple weeks, so we'll have all kinds of updates. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks.